Hey guys, I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create an easy flyer design in Photoshop. But before that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Here we are going to create this flyer, and see the entire process and these are the two main colors, which we'll use in this project. Also, these are the fonts which we're going to use. So, let's start. Take a new document sized 8 inch by 12 inch. Here, first we'll create the background. So, take a solid color layer and use this shade of yellow as background color. Next step is to create the paper texture effect. To create this effect, we have to bring the paper image and place it above solid color layer. Holding shift key turn the image to 90 degree. Now scale up the image to cover entire background. Now change the blending mode to multiply. Turn opacity to 50%. Now create clipping mask on the solid color layer. Our background is ready. It's time to create the red colored shape above background. But before that, we need to create guidelines. So, go to view menu and create two new guidelines in vertical position. One at 25% and second at 75%. Now create another guideline in horizontal position at 50%. We'll create a shape using the guidelines. Take rectangle tool. Change the fill color to the chosen red color. Stroke should be blank. Now, draw a rectangle using guideline. After that, choose Move Tool. Press Ctrl T. Then, right click on Shape and choose Perspective. Now create the shape using Perspective. Follow the process carefully. Hit OK. Here I am increasing the length of the shape little bit by dragging down the lower middle point. Clear the guides. Now add drop shadow in the shape. Click on FX, choose drop shadow. Follow the settings. Hit OK. Now, holding Alt, drag the paper layer to make a copy. Place it above the rectangle layer. Clipping mask it. It'll affect only on shape layer. There's no need to change blending mode and opacity, because we already have applied on background layer. Now add a gradient below the rectangle layer. Apply it from up to down. Add gradient from layer style and place it just below the rectangle layer. We'll use color to transparent gradient. Dig black color. Also change the necessary settings. Adjust the gradient flow by clicking and dragging with mouse pointer. Hit OK. Now add text. Click on the new group. Rename it header. Choose text tool. Choose font. Set color to white. Then write the text. Open text properties. Adjust the size and settings. Select text and the rectangle shape layers. Then take move tool. Then click on the horizontal align. It will help the text to align in the middle. Now press Ctrl T and increase the size. Similarly, add the other text in the header part. 
This is after adding remaining text to header. Now bring the burger image and place it in the middle, but below the header group. Holding Alt plus Shift key, resize the image. Now take a new layer below burger layer. Rename it to burger shadow. Take soft round brush. Increase the brush size using brackets. Change foreground color to black. Click one time. Selecting the shadow layer, click on mask. Again, take soft round brush. Select the mask and paint with black to hide unwanted areas. Now take another new group. Bring the arrow image. Adjust the size and angle. Now take a new layer. Select brush tool. Then press F5 to open brush panel. I am taking this brush. Decrease the size. Change foreground color to white. Click one time. Press Ctrl T and adjust the angle. Place it accordingly. Now add text on it. Rename it. Now take another new group. Similarly bring another arrow image. Resize it and place it. Take text tool and add text free delivery. Place it accordingly. Now right click and convert it to smart object. Press Ctrl T and apply wrap on it. Choose arc wrap. Adjust the size and angle. Now bring the Delivery Boy logo. Adjust the size and place it above Free Delivery. Here we have forgotten to add a doodle in background. Bring the doodle image and place it above Paper Layer. Increase the size a little bit. Hit OK. Now change the blending mode to multiply and bring down opacity to 50. And clipping mask it. Then right click and open blending option. Under section blend if, holding control click on this point to split it. Then adjust them to blend smoothly with background. Follow the process carefully. Now it's time to add footer. Take new group and rename it footer. Take a new layer then take marquee tool. Selecting the new layer select an area from the foot of the document. Then fill it with same red color. Now add paper effect same as before. Now take rectangle tool and make a rectangle above paper under footer group. Change fill color to white. If you zoom, you'll notice there are four to beside the four corner. Click and hold one point and drag to center until its corner turned round. 
Now select footer area and the new capsule shape to align in the middle. Now take text tool and put other texts in the footer group. It will look like this after adding all. Now take a new group, renamed it to Logo. Take Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle at upper left corner. This time we'll change sharp corner to round of the one side of the rectangle. Fill it with yellow. You can add your logo here. Now take another new group. Take text tool and add some text. Here I am fast forwarding the process. You can slow it down to understand better. Our whole project is done. Now if you want, you can adjust all elements to look better. If you want to use this free PDF of this project, kindly look into the video description. If you have any query about this video, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. This is the final result. If you like the video hit the like button, and if you want to see more tutorial like this, subscribe the channel. See you soon.